Inflation is making it so your money is less every year, and by saving your money, you are essentially throwing it away. Inflation, if, if we hear this term a lot, inflation, and what it really means is that every year your money gets uh, less valuable than the year before. And in 2005, it went up 3.4%, 2006 went 32 Essentially, the only year that if you saved your money and didn't spend any of it at all, you would have, the only year you would have gained money is with 2009. But let's say inflation is 2%. At the beginning of the year, let's say you have 100 bucks, and that year had a 2% inflation gain. What would happen at the end of that year, you would have $98. So by saving that $100 and not spending it, you lost money. It's, it's kind of crappy to think about it, how you save money and you think you're being smart and you think you're thinking ahead and being financially literate, but really what that does is it kind of just makes you tumble over and just makes you lose money. So what do we do about inflation? Well first, let's just talk how much it inflates every year on average. This is the last 13 years and we've kind of had some uh, roller coaster rides because of the 2008 crash. But what it is is essentially if you average these 13 numbers together, you're going to get 2.05%. Now, what that says right there is you have to be saving, you have, your money has to be making and growing 2.05% on average to be not losing money when you spend it. So let's talk about this. If you're going to if your if your money is going to be less 2% less every year, how do you make it go into how do you make it gain 2% a year? Most people they talk about putting in an interest-bearing savings account, which is kind of smart cuz in the name of an interest-bearing savings account, not only are you saving it, you are having great interest on it. But unfortunately, that's not how savings of banks saving accounts really work. Uh, Chase's average for their savings account is 0.01%, which is nothing. That's one penny per dollar a year. So Wells Fargo, a little better, a little, not that much, 0.05%, which is pretty big. And most people like to make the argument saying that's because those are national banks and those are huge and they can charge so little because they're just so huge. But let's talk about Cash Valley Bank. That's a small bank. That's right in our cash, it has the name Cash Valley. No way they can expand. They're stuck in this valley no matter how hard they try and get out of here. Their interest rate on their savings account, I looked it up on the internet, 0.25. Every dollar you have, you get a you get a quarter. You get a quarter back. Every hundred dollars you get a quarter back. Which is ridiculous actually. Yeah, this is really bad. So how can you make your money gain two percent a year? You can do a lot of things. You can do stocks and you can do CDs. Um, but what I like to tell people to do is you don't have to be that financially wise with your money to make 2%. Most, a lot of banks that are only online actually have 2% interest rate, like Ally Bank and Goldman Sachs. I know my bank account personally is Ally, and they have 2.2% interest rate yearly, and they pay that out monthly. So you do get compounding interest rates on that, and that's with Ally. And then there's like Goldman Sachs and a lot of other ones. But essentially, what I want you to go home, and I want you to remember, and I want you to tell your kids, I want you to tell your family, I want you to tell everybody you know about this, is make your money earn 2% a year. This 2% is not that much, just so when you save, you're not being tricked. When you save, you're not losing money. When you save, you're actually saving, and you're actually becoming forward, step by step, into becoming financially independent.